So usually when I contour, I use the MAC. Let's see what color this one is. It's just a matte bronze. And you can see right here, that's the color. Usually I use um, an angled brush. I have a smaller one, but we're gonna go ahead and use this one today. Just make sure it's clean first. And just take some of the product and always work from the top of the ear down. And you never want to just throw it on there because once you get the product on there, it's gonna be harder for you to blend it. So I'm gonna start right where the top of the ear is and just in circular motions, blend that throughout the skin. And just kind of, when you're, when you're applying the bronzer, do it in like a C shape. So just like that. And this will make the face appear slimmer. And then after doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead, if you can turn your head this way, I'm gonna add the product going upwards right here. So just brush it upwards. So we're kind of just um, contouring those darker features. So right over here, we're also gonna contour the forehead area around the forehead. Get that area as well. And I'll show you that in just a second. You also want to make sure that you're kind of just bringing the product back to the ear so it all blends together. And then after you do that, you're going to go ahead and take your little beauty blender one more time and dip it into the powder. And right now we're going to sharpen that contour. So by, sh by sharpening it, you're just going to go right under where you put applied that bronzer and just make a straight line. So this will ensure that none of the bronzer is going down here because you want this area to be highlighted. So if you can just turn, you can see that it's all right here, right under where I applied that bronzer. And I'm gonna go on the other side, so just turn this way. And again, just apply it straight down. And a lot of the times if the person has any oily, oily skin on the forehead. Do you have that problem? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and apply some on the forehead area as well. So usually we just make a triangle shape, like so. Just right here. And kind of just pat that down right there. You don't wanna cover that bronzer because we just applied that. Okay. So then afterwards, um, while that's baking, as they like to say it, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Victoria's Secret bronzer just right around where I applied the bronzer before. And this has nice, a nice shimmer com uh, color to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. So what's the difference between the two bronzers that we use? So the, the first one we use is a matte bronzer. This one has um, some more of like some sparkle and shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. And it's more of a golden tone. 